taking all the time because I intend to finish the 10 businesses that you can do with little capital with at least 10,000 Naira in Nigeria. So let's quickly jump into it. Of course, you know I'm not going to say anything without saying drop shipping because drop shipping has practically taken me from where I was to where I am. It is it is it is a life-changing business. Okay, it is something you can do on your own. It's something that does not require too much skill. Okay? It doesn't require too much skills before they'll say you should go to this school and learn this. No. And it's, it's something that doesn't require too much capital. You don't need inventory. You don't need um like a, a gigantic building and money. You mustn't be a damn gote to start. What exactly is drop, drop shipping? Because I'm going to be coming down to the barest minimum so that we can all get this. Simply put, drop shipping is taking something from somewhere that somebody wants to buy. Helping that person to buy it and giving it to that person. Now, how, giving it to another person. Now, how do you make money? You make money from the difference. For example, Mary says she wants to buy children clothes. I use children clothes because that is how, that is what I drop ship. Okay, let me use myself as an example. I drop ship in Abuja, virtually all the stores, most of the store, let me not say all the store. In Abuja, I drop ship. How do I drop ship? I have a contact in US that sells children clothes. And I have so many friends in Abuja here that are into kiddies. So they tell me, Debbie, use your connection now. Make you help us buy children clothes from the uh, U.S. or from U.K. I say, okay, no problem. So the clothes that my friend is selling to me at 1,000 Naira, I am telling them that that cloth is 2,000 Naira. So this is how I calculate my profit. And I say, okay, if I want to make 1 million Naira, I need to bring clothes that is 1,000 times that amount to make one million. I don't know if you understand. If I want to make 10 million error, I need to bring 10 clothes. 1,000 times, uh, times 10 clothes. That is um, um, 1,000 times 10 clothes. That's 10,000 error. I want to make 20,000. 1,000 times 20 clothes. That is 20,000 error. So if my friend gives me the money to buy that clothes in US, I will carry that money and pay to my contact in US. She will send me clothes. Sorry, a call is coming, so I have to end it. Okay, sorry for that distraction. So, she will give me the money here in Nigeria. I will send it to my friend in US. Send, taking my own part of the money, because already the, mo the clue is supposed to be 1,000. I've already charged 50,000 error. Take my own part of the money, and my friend will send it to my friend shop. Simple, that is it. So, I can be in my house, like... I don't need to like carry the word on my head to look like I'm doing business. I can be inside even my bedroom and I would have clicked that business of how many million naira. So basically that is drop shipping. When you hear drop shipping, the name is so big, big. It's nothing, it's nothing too big. Like even for those of you that have been following me on how to import in, um, I don't know who is calling me for God's sake. I need to, sorry. Somebody has been interrupting my call. Okay, so um, just as I was saying on the drop shipping, I collect money from here. I buy clothes from the US. I carry the in between money. How do you call it? The difference. Okay, I carry the difference of the money and they help me ship, drop, uh, ship it to my friend's side. I've made cool money. That is drop shipping. So I must not have capital to start drop shipping. Especially those of you following me on importation business. For example, you may have somebody that is into processing of agro product. You know, we don't have agro product processing machine in Nigeria. We have some boys that have been trying to fabricate, but still, we still have a fabricated one because most of those processing this thing needs stainless, pure food stainless, which is 304, which you hardly find in Nigeria. Okay, so somebody may say, since you have way, you know how to do this mini importation, help me bring a machine that I can use in processing semu. You say, okay. You ask your contact in China, and that person say the machine is three million, and you tell this person, ah, 
I can bring this machine for you for four million. And the person says, No problem. Go ahead. The person gives you the money. You send it to the person in China and they send this person the machine and you take your one million. That is drop shipping. No long to reaching. So, in fact, for those people who like broken like me, drop shipping and make the say somebody send you, make you go buy something for them. You can't help the person buy and can't carry the money where they inside. Maybe drop shipping. So, leave all this story. <laughs> Leave all this long story alone. That is basically drop shipping. And people have been making a whole lot of money. I can't tell you how it has changed my life. It has really, really transformed my life. So I along and during the week I tried to show you how I was trying to practice how to use um this um uh Facebook Live just to let you know that I am the same thing as you. Some of you even have more skills than me. Before somebody will say, okay, it's because she have one kind of skill. No, I did learn. All of us, they do and worry, worry, we they fail, but we die here. Do you understand? So I allow myself to go live so that you can see my vulnerability, so that you can see there is no gain gain. It's just hustling. All of us, we are just hustling. Okay? So you can really, really do it if you want to look into drop shipping. That is our um item number one then our item number two is mini importation even though it looks like drop shipping but they are not the same thing at all okay mini importation in other words is why we call this mini it's not like the normal importation where you pass through custom when you talk of importation you pass through custom you do clearance you feel all the um statistics and all those things to show that Things are coming from Nigeria, okay, coming to Nigeria. No, many importation, you don't need all this thing again, again. Like, you don't need it, okay? Many importation is you buying things from China, using either an agent or shipping it yourself. And you will just use your phone, like I am like this now. I can just type and buy things from China. Send it to my agent and send it to my and uh, the shipping company, and they will send it to me here like this in Abuja. Nothing consign me, consign waiting custom. They do. I be waiting that they clear for border. I be waiting border. They border himself. He no bother me, sir. Do you understand? Like it's none of my business. The only business I have is I will use my phone and buy something online, and I will get it in Abuja Jabi Park. If you are in Kaduna, you get it in Mondo. If you are in Lagos, you get it in any of the park. You just go there, carry your things. That is mini importation. So many people are confusing this thing. You don't have to do anything with custom like Genge or clearing or shipping or Bobo. It is not your job. It is the shipping company job. Okay? So, if you check my last video, by the way, for those of you that are watching me, that uh, have not seen most of those videos, you can check my video on um, business rants in YouTube, at YouTube. You see a lot of all those videos that I've explained, like importation. You see the importation, I, I, I gave a story of how I used to supply socks to schools in Abuja. Okay, they will ask me to help them import for them. I will import and I will sell it to them. I will just add my money and sell it to them. So that is mini importation. But basically what I advise people, especially you, I'm talking to you, what I advise people to do is don't ever, don't ever import without having a customer. I don't know if I'm making sense. Because the small money you have that you are trying to make more money for yourself, you now go and tie that small money and buy something and keep at the end, you now, you now realize that people don't need that thing. So make sure you create a market before you import. Just so that as you are importing, you know where you are taking it to. So that the small money you have, you don't waste it. How do you create a market? I like to always give examples so that it will be very clear. Let me take myself as an example. Let me say I'm among one of you that is watching me now. And you want to import something from China. Okay, let me say, what can we, what can we give an, as an, I've used clothes too much and such. Okay, let's say, because we don't have um, enough agro-processing machine in Nigeria, 
you want to import a um, machine on how to on how to process um on how to process cassava flour gary you want to import machine on how to process gary this is what me debbie would do i would look for almost all the whatsapp whatsapp group that we have agro processors i will join the group i will save most of their contacts on my phone i will start advertising i will carry those machines from internet they will not charge me from taking those machines right i will take those machines from internet from the internet i will put it on my status because i already have contacts I already have friends that most of the things they are into is agro processing. Am I making sense? For example, you have a Nigerian ginger processor. This you have most of all those group on WhatsApp, right? You join the group, you make friends with a whole lot of them, okay? Because these are the people that will be your market people processors that are using that thing. So you make friends with them. You carry their contact, add it to your contact list. It's work. But let me tell you, business is not cheap. You add it to your contact list. You start dishing most of all those machines on your status. Because knowing fully well that these machines are difficult to get, most of these people will be seeing this machine and they will be wowed. Like, where this girl to get this machine for? Oh my God. Now this machine, now I need to take, make my garage day very nice. Oh, ah, God, oh. Hey, I don't get this money. But now this machine is for make me go the next level. The next thing you see them start chatting you and somebody is telling you, I need a Gary processing machine of 5 million naira. You tell the person, it's not a big deal. I can bring it for you for 7.5 million. And the person, ah, ah, my sister, this thing too much, oh. I don't get money, new. I just say, make I buy this. And the next thing you are bargaining with the person and you ended up maybe agreeing on 6 million. Or 6.5 and you tell the person okay no problem I can do it for you at least it not for anything for the sake of next time and you place the order and you tell the person you pay before service so because you know how Nigeria be the person sends you the money and you send it to your contact in China the, your contact in China will send it to your shipper okay or if you are using agent it will send you to your agent and they will send it to the place you are. For example, I collect all my things in Jabi Park. And you carry the thing and you give it to the person that said he wants to buy that thing. And again, you have made your money. So basically, import mini importation, you really don't have anything to do with border agency, custom, and all this. So mostly, um, in our mini importation video, we try to teach you the... Um, advantage of using agent and advantage of shipping it yourself. We try to teach you on um, the uh, most uh, best selling things that you can sell in Nigeria. We try to, we bring in our mini importation um, course, we bring the agent to come and talk to you by, your, by themselves. Trusted agents, not the one you just pick the number from internet that can just do you the more you see, the less you understand. We bring the agent to come and talk to you by yourself. In fact, the agent is not, is not any other person. Self. It's an Idoma girl, my sister, Gongo, or a name. <laughs> she stays in Wuhan. Do you understand? So I bring her to come and talk to you so that you know the person that you are dealing with. She will tell you it's not a big deal. Most agents charge 5%. It's a flat rate of anything that you are buying from China. So we bring the agent. We bring the shipping company in case you say you are not dealing with agents. You want to do it by yourself. It's very simple. You can do it by yourself. But we'll tell you the reason why people prefer agents. Because there are some things you need to buy that you need somebody to see it before they ship it. You don't just buy online and ship it and just expect everything will be fine. Because some of these China people, they can so wound you. And they talk and say, China 419, it passed Nigeria home. Because their 419 is in dollars, not in Naira. So when they hit here, you go, then I say they throw you for 10 story building. Do you understand? So, that, those are some of the reasons why you need agents. So in our video, we usually have a paid course. Sorry, why we call it paid course? Because 
we we try to settle those agents we try to settle those shippers and we bring everybody to give you a genuine thing that must make you successful not just to do course and just go away usually it's a three days course the agent comes to talk to you the shipper comes to talk to you they tell they will try to do a practical as to how to buy something because it's not just to just go and ship to just go and buy we have different website that you can buy something so many people think when you want to import you talk about alibaba alibaba is expensive to even buy there are websites in china where you buy something there the thing will just be like say then dash you like that 1688 i talked about these are extremely cheap there like sometimes you get the price half of what you get in alibaba in fact people come from alibaba to come and buy from there and sell to you Okay, so but the problem with the 1688 is that it is written in Chinkong, like Chinese language. If you open the website, you just saying Chian Chian. So most people cannot read it. Okay, so we try to explain to our students how to convert it to English so that you can read it. How to search. We have different way to search. It is not a normal website where you just enter. And you just type, for example, you want to buy a uh, earring and you put earring and the thing will come out for you. No, because those people don't understand English. So we we'll give you the method of how you put their things so that they can understand. Okay, how you put what and what you need to put on the search button so that they can understand. So the um, paid course is a full package. We we'll teach you how to search for things. We we'll teach you where to buy things, the cheapest. We we'll teach you how to detect Chinese 419. Because it's not everybody that is on that side that is genuine. You have people from Abba selling in Chinese website, claiming they are China. So you go to Chinese, buy Abba made things and bring it to Nigeria. So we, there are some yastic we use. So that if you want to buy in Abba, I'm not saying that Abba things are, are no good. What I'm saying, if you want to buy in Nigeria, buy in Nigeria. It doesn't make sense. You are in Nigeria. You carry yourself, go to China. Buy the things from China, finish. Pay transportation fee, come here. Like, it don't make sense to me. Why would I just go to a bar and buy what I want to buy? Okay, so we'll try to tell you how you can know the real authentic supplier. How you can search. How, where you can get cheap things. We we'll give you number and contact of agents, genuine, that you can even call me and say, David, this person is not bringing my things. I know where to find her in Midoma land here. Like we died here, that she will bring your things. We we'll give you shippers contact, that if you say you are not using agent, you ship yourself and your mind is still at rest. Even when things are not coming early, because there are some times that shipping takes time. Your mind is at rest because you know this person will never take your things. Okay, so basically, these are what we do um, at the pay course. I think we have um, an importation business um, course coming on first week of next month. I will share it when we are doing it. But basically, you can make a whole lot of money from importation into Nigeria because we are not there yet. We are not processing yet. So we are more of a, we are consuming. And the population for Nigeria will not be here. You have over 200 million. I know they won't believe that till then they talk. Because since four years, they've been telling you over 200 million. You want them to say they know they're born? Go to Nasarawa Hospital. Go to Guarimpa Hospital. Go to Gariki Hospital. Go and check how many women giving birth per second. And they're still telling you we have about, about, every time about 200 million. About 200, yesterday about 200, last year about 200, uh, last two years about 200, with the kind of children who they dish out for this country. Beggy, make a hear word. So, we have, we have the numbers. Like we have, our strength is our number. Let me give you an example, just close your eye, imagine. That you ship something that is highly in demand in Nigeria, and you are making just only one naira. Times 200 citizens. I bet somebody do the math. Gang, gang. That is like 200 million. Did I, did I get the math wrong? Yes. For just putting only one error, because of course, you know, go even feel travel, go China, 
come here, do business, and put one naira. But imagine you are putting just two one naira. That is two hundred million, no? And you are putting two naira. That is four hundred million. Then imagine you are putting like one thousand. Now die. Do you understand? So importation is one big business that Nigerian youth are not as um they're not exploring that place. Okay, I see I see people every year graduate from school with fantastic results, looking for job right, left, and center. You will see somebody that don't have money. The person will look for transport, you will go to Lagos, you will go to Portacourt, you will go to Jaws, you will go to Kaduna. It will look as if you are getting the job. You are not getting, and people will be thinking you are lazy. On top of that one, somebody will not say you are lazy youth. Do you understand? Or you now see some housewife that they are trying to manage their homes. I salute all housewives on this earth. It's not easy. You see, they try to manage your home, trying to cook 365 days in a year, trying to take care of the children, trying to take care of husband, trying to do another thing. But things is not working. So you must, you must rescue yourself. It is you that will rescue yourself. If you are that type of person that is sitting and saying, I have this uncle in a national assembly, is not helping me, or you're for you. Because like your uncle, if you check in family where, now then jobless pass you. So if you check list of people where you won't give job, if you wait for here to 30 years time, you know what reach you. So stand up, stand up and start hustling. I just gave you an example of shipping and adding just one naira for 200 million citizens and you have made 200. So let's even say you cannot even hit the 200. Let's say it's only 1 million citizens you are able to make, to meet. And you're having a good like adding 500 naira or 1000 naira. My sister, you don't blow. So, mini importation is one go to place that I usually advise new fresh coppers coming, coming up, those that don't have job that are already getting frustration. My sister and my brother, depression is real. I feel you understand it. It's very easy for somebody to come to the TV and say people are lazy. They don't know that people have explored everything that they need to explore. They can't even find ends meet. No, no, no loan. No, nobody giving you money to start business. No matter how you try, it just looks like your effort is not good enough. So, mini importation is one um, business I will recommend any day, any time. I have tested it and it has been so good to me. So the next on our list is a uh, mini exportation. Most of you, this is the first time you are hearing this. I call it mini exportation because here is um, a business. I'm proposing business that you can start with 10,000 era. Even the mini importation, I'm talking about 10,000. Let me give you an example of things that you can begin to import into this country. We have so many people doing trading agro products. One thing that they are always looking for is moisture tester. In China, you can get that thing for six five. You can get that thing for six five, and you can get that thing for seven thousand. So not cost you more than two thousand naira to import it. When you bring it here, you can put it for twenty five thousand naira. Worst case, you sell it for twenty thousand naira. You are selling. You are making fifty percent interest. Is it fifty? When you, the money you invest and the money you made, they are the same thing. Is it fifty or hundred? Please. All those econ economists in the house, is it 50 or 100? Like you, you invested 10,000, you made 10,000. Please, is it 50 or 100? 100% or 50? Somebody is saying it's 100%, not 50%. Okay, so, but you, you are you understanding what I'm saying? That you use less than 10,000 naira to get the uh, moisture tester and you are selling it for 20,000 naira. Okay, so you can do okay 100%. Sal uh, Salamat to say is 100%. Thank you, 100%. Okay, so you, you, you buy that thing for 75, you do your shipping for less than um 3,000, let's say 2,000 era, and you send it for 25,000 era because this thing everybody is looking for this thing and we can't produce it. So I'm giving you practical example because I said businesses you can do with less than 10,000 era. Let's not look for business that is more than 10,000 so that. A copper that is just graduating, maybe the remaining allowance of 10,000, you can start something. Don't wait. Even if job will come, let it come and meet you. Money not they too much. Do you understand? Don't wait. If you have that income, come here, you have a job. I don't want to hear anybody where they say money, they kill that person. 
You can have the two. If you don't need it, carry it and give beggar. Use it to open a foundation. But don't wait. We have so many irresponsible people in leadership. There are some that are good. Don't wait. If not, your life will just slip away. And it will look like you are not doing anything. Okay, so that is an example of meaning importation. So, um, the next one I said is um, mini exportation. This is the first time I'm tagging this like this. Why did I say mini exportation? Because I want a business that we can do with less than 10,000. I cannot bring exportation and tell you you can do exportation with less than 10,000. That is a big, greatest lie of the universe. It's not possi possible. Possible. Exportation is damn expensive. So how do we do it like a mini? <laughs> Everything is mini. How do we minimize it? How do we start small and grow for it? You can produce so many things in Nigeria. Okay, maybe instead of calling it mini exportation, we'll call it informal exportation. Because this is the exportation that you don't need to register a company. Okay? You don't need to register with the Nigeria Export and Promotion Council. You don't need to go and get container and to to get your different documentation that you don't know how to and trying to document and all that. You don't need that. When I talk about mini exportation, I'm talking about providing most of all the things we have in Nigeria to Nigerians in diaspora. Like Nigerians are so scattered all over the world. Like we, we are everywhere, okay? Imagine Nigerians in U.S. and imagine they're staying for one year without testing anything of Nigeria. They would die because we, our test board has been so used to spicy thing, pepper, hot, quilly, quilly, yaji, or bono, egusi. So we can't begin to eat this ocean, 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 ocean for one year. We will get sick. So most of the Nigerians there, they are looking for all these things, okay? So, because I have people that contact me always and say, Daddy, please, can you help me export asafish? Can you help me export obono? Because most of the uh, restaurants there, they do obono. The most, the popular soup is obono or egusi soup. So even if it's in obono, there must be ugu. Egusi, there must be ugu. Do you understand? So you can export ugu. Cut ugu very neatly. You see where the mini exportation is coming from. Wash buy ugu of ordinary uh, maybe five thousand or ten thousand. No, let's say seven because we are trying to keep it for ten thousand. Buy ugu of seven thousand era. You can imagine ugu for seven thousand if you go those local local women inside where they inside inside bush. Nobody those ones open wine. Wash it, cut it, dry it, put it inside ziplock. Tag it, carry masking tape, put it, ugu. You don't need genge, you start first, start. Sometimes our eyes are too big, let me know the fish start. Put it, take it to Naipos, and ship it to that person that says he wants ugu. Naipos will collect maybe two, three, or thereabouts, ship it to that person that says he wants ugu. You have exported. Whether you like it or not, that is cross-border trade. You have taken a product from Nigeria to another country. The only difference is you are not recognized because you are not registered with the Nigerian Export and Promotion Council. You don't have um, a company name. You don't have uh, anything that will show statistics or data to show that something actually moved from Nigeria. But the real thing is you are making money. So you can, you can export something like Ugu Leaf. You can export something like um, crayfish. You can get small crayfish and export. You just get a contact of person, start with that person gradually. The profit you are making from it, you are putting it and still exporting it. And I said use Nipost. Nipost is the Nigerian shipping this thing. So it's cheaper, even though it will take longer, a little longer time than all this UPS and the rest. But it is cheaper. So when you go to Naples, they don't ask you of documentation, they don't ask you of your ID card, they don't ask you of uh, international passport, they don't ask you of your any documents. You just take the person's address, write it neatly, put the person's phone number, the person will receive it. You have shipped. And that is exportation. That is what I call mini exportation. You can do that. You can do that with Iru. You can do that with Dawadawa. 
You can do it ogiri. You can do it uh, ichang. Did I call it way? If I don't call it way, pardon me, but I know what I'm talking about. You can do it ichang. You can do it uh, with uh, Igbo sha, Igbo leaf, and they die for Igbo leaf. Uh, oziza. You can do it oziza. You can do it with uh, uh, ugu, bitter leaf. You can start with all those small, small things. As you grow, you begin to do even add fruits. Because do you know that you can buy pineapple here? You can dry it and send it there. That At that point, say, if you are not doing mini in, uh, exportation again, you're already doing industrial exportation because companies there use pineapple to make fruit juice. They use it to make bread jam. They use it to make a whole lot of things. So you see the graduation. At that time, you have already done your company registration. You're already growing and you are becoming a company. So at that level, you are not dealing with Nigerians in diaspora again. You are, you are sending for industrial use. For example, this is my ginger. This is ginger. This is one kg. I produce this one kg and put it 25 of these inside a buhu, a sack, to make it 25 kg. I send it abroad for industrial use. People that make spices abroad, they use this. So I may not need to produce, I may, I may not need to look for too many customers. Only one customer, only one company, only me may not be able to be producing this ginger. Because what they may need, they may even tell you to be bringing 500, 500 container every month. You with your money safe, you cannot even supply even more than one, one container every month. So they, they are enough for you. So you start small, before you know, you start sending to companies and most of the company they use our team for example you pro, you send ginger powder you send uh, even cassava cassava you make cassava starch you send it to company they use it to do starch for clothes they use it to make their paper okay they use it to whiten their paper they use it for big industrial use you start sending cassava you start sending turmeric this is my turmeric here this is one kg i made 25 and put it in a bag and I export it to pharmaceutical company. They use this to make medicine. Most of the there is no pharmaceutical company that don't use some content of um, uh, turmeric. They call it cocum. There's a strong content that is here that they are always looking for. Okay, so but how do you start with ten thousand naira? You first start small. Start sending all those things I told you so that you'll be used to the system. Send ogiri. Send the Changu, send Ibu, send Uwedu, send Okpehe, send Dawadawa, send Asafish, send Dry Fish, send the Changu, okay? Send uh, Ukwa. All those things, you are sending it and you are getting used to the system and you are making money. And the next thing you say, I beg, I want just one company that I have so, 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 so product that is very close to me. I want to focus on industrial exportation. And the next thing, you are registering your company and you are already one big Janjati company. But the bottom line is, send first. Okay? So the fourth on our list is um, the kind of business you can do to make money in Nigeria, less than 10,000. Be a social media influencer. I know even this has always, everything I've been telling you is new, but this has always been the, uh, on the internet. But it is true. People are making money from meat. If you know you don't know how to do anything, but you are very good in influencing the net. You are so good, like you know how to network very well. Start a channel. Make your Facebook so robust. Make your Instagram so robust. Make your wasash for business so massive that when you post something on your status, you are sure that you are getting almost 5,000 views. Make your YouTube so awesome. Before you know it, companies will be calling you to advertise for them. They will be sending products for you. Okay, imagine, I, my, I have a YouTube that I'm not even doing it for business. I'm doing it to teach people. Knowing fully where that. There is a limit to what I have, okay? 
I can't actually go about sharing money. At least I can help people with this thing so that it gladdened my heart when somebody was like, that thing you told me carelessly, look, I started this and I've become this. Each time I get that news, it's, it's, you don't understand what it, it does to me. So with that little this thing I'm, I've been doing on YouTube, I have over just 2K followers. And yeah, people are calling me, can you advertise for me on your YouTube? People are saying, look at product. Look at product that people sent to me. Look, products. Okay? You keep getting products from people. You keep getting money. You see people, you see company offering you money to advertise. Because they know that anything you say on that your group, you have so many followers. You are an influencer. So you may not be good with, you know it's not everybody that is good with trading. You may not be too good with trading. But if you are a social media person, why not start now? And personally, I will recommend YouTube to you. If they said um, pictures speak more than a word, then I will say um, videos speak even a million times than picture. Okay? Why I will personally even recommend YouTube for you is apart from you um, influencing the net and being able to advertise people products or adv and advertise your own product in case you decide to have a product, YouTube even pay you like they monetize your channel for you. So for every view, there's a certain percentage of money they pay to you, kind of to tell you for a, for a job well done. Okay? So what does it take? It's just your phone. Instead of using your phone, you for other things, you can use it. You can direct it to this to this um, way that will be any money for you. You can do Facebook, you can do um, um, Instagram, you can do Twitter, you can do WhatsApp. It's not the business. I think they say WhatsApp for business. You can do WhatsApp and you can do YouTube. But personally, I have seen the power of YouTube. They will monetize for you. I think once you reach, you get 100 subscribers, you have a customized name. And when you reach 1,000, you can do live video. Then, um, when you reach 10,000 uh, watch time, they monetize you automatically. So for everybody that just watch your video, there's a certain percentage of money you get. Then companies start approaching you and telling you, please, can you review this product for us? Can you just put in words for us? Can you just um, just show this on your channel so that they will know that we are we are doing so, 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 so thing? And it's even, they are even giving you different product. If I open my room, if you see different product, this is me that have just 2K followers. And I'm not even doing it for business because I don't, I've, I've already put my mind that this, that one is not for business. It's just for me to teach. So, be a social media influencer. That one will not even cost you with 3,000 naira. All you just need to be doing is to be buying data. Okay? So that is our number um, <clears throat> four. Then the number five on our list is home stroke office cleaning. This looks cheap, but it works. I don't know where you are, but for, for states like Abuja, Port Harcourt, Lagos, this works a lot. Personally, I know how much I have paid for cleaning, especially with um, this lockdown and COVID that women that are supposed to be cleaning, they are doing a whole lot. They are juggling between office, home, children and everything. The something is causing like, the something is becoming too much for them. Like the workload is becoming too much. So people are looking for cleaner here and there. Like majorly in my house every quarter i paid a man to come and clean my house for me and i've recommended that man that man before i say men because he has so many boys that are working under him i have recommended that man to so many of my friends that man charged as more as as much as 50 70 100 150 200 depending on how big your house is so considering starting um a cleaning service for offices and um homes it's not going to take you that much all you just need to buy, do is to buy cleaning agent okay so that is the fifth um on my list and the sixth on my list is if you know you have a gift of teaching or training start tutorials and start training it looks small but there is money in it. Let me give you an example. 
For those of us, for those of you that is that you are in Abuja, I'll give you an example. You know um, this tutorial where they call learn at ease. You know children pay as high as fifty thousand or sometimes sixty thousand per month, okay? And there are some children that um, go to the lesson morning and they go in the evening. I want you to do this calculation, and all of you must type here. So that you understand what I'm saying. So they pay sixty thousand in the morning and sixty in the evening for a month. How much is that? Type fast so that I will know that you people are following what I'm saying because this thing is burning me. Sometimes it's looking like people are not understanding what I'm saying. Sixty morning, sixty evening. That's one. That's one twenty monthly. And that child attends that lesson for four months because. One twenty thousand naira times four months. How much is it? Debbie, you say one twenty. Yes, I say one twenty thousand naira times four months. Because ego ne. Four eighty, God bless you. Four eighty, four hundred and eighty thousand naira for one child in a month. I beg, you know, past school fees. Think her now, you know, past school fees. One picking, four hundred and eighty thousand naira. <laughs> Let me call it like that so that you understand. Four hundred and eighty thousand naira times. Four hundred and eighty thousand naira for one picking. You don't pass school fees. Then imagine all the children going to that lesson. That is tutorial, so. My brother and a tutorial did that too. Do you understand? So there is money. Most time I give this example for people that are in Abuja, people that are in Lagos, people that are in Port Harcourt. Look for a niche. There are some schools that people are trying to pass. They can't do it. You can just. Get everything that you need to know about that school. Give your best shot. Let people know you for that. And people will pay. Or better still, you can do home lesson. That one has been um on that one has been like forever, right from the beginning. That is what we know. But I don't usually recommend home lesson because how many picking you want teach? Like if you want to do home, probably you'll be doing one child. It's not that effective when you talk of ego, making money. Because everything, I like directing it to how do you make money. You are close, maybe you are a teacher, you are closing 2 o'clock. You are teaching a child, you come back home 4 o'clock, teach that child 4 to 6. For uh, how many times in a month? In a month, you collect, the, maybe the parent will just pay you 30,000 naira. It doesn't make, it doesn't make money for you. I don't want to say it doesn't make sense. That is the traditional way of doing things. But if I were you, I have that skill. I have that sense. I want to monetize it. Because teacher's reward is here, now, here. What they call very, very now. Not in heaven, because teachers are doing too much. So how do you monetize that skills? You look for a niche. Probably in Abuja, yeah, everybody, there is this craze of everybody wanting their child to go to Loyola Jesus. That is what that uh, lesson that I gave you, uh, example, I've been able to achieve. The woman is doing so very well, like she is good at what she does. It's not somebody that will just say, bring your money. When she say pay, you will pay because she's giving you value for your money. She is extremely good. So teachers can start online teaching. Do a flyer that is so robust. You can take four children or 15 or 20 per time. You are not constrained with space. Get a paid Zoom with less than, because I'm telling you businesses you can do with less than 10,000 naira. A paid Zoom monthly with less than 8,000 naira, you get a paid Zoom that can take more than 100 children. Advertise it. You don't know how to advertise it. Bring it to my channel. Let's blow it together. Advertise it. Let it reach one million people. And at the end, save it down to 100. My sister, even that 100 children, even if not 20, 20,000, they pay you not 200,000 with that one. What am I saying? 100 times 20,000. It can't be 200. 
Is it 200? 100 times 20,000 naira. Somebody should please help me. I love money, but if I don't press calculator, no be me on a do math. The only thing they teach me now, if S is equal to this, then what I look for S. I've been looking for S. Up to now, I've not seen S. So, 100 times 20,000 naira will give you how much? Somebody should quick do that math for us. Are you serious? 2 million? Please do it again. 20,000 naira times 100. Chidex, are you serious? You are putting 2 million. When you have 100 students and you are collecting 20,000 naira. How much did we get? 20,000 naira. I'm not getting it. 100 times 20,000 naira is 2 million. Oh my God. I didn't even think of that. But then, this is what I'm saying. The paid version of the Zoom allow you to take more than 100 students. So it means nothing is limiting you. So you are not constrained. You are not constrained with the physical space. So you can actually get 100 students. You can get 50 students. You can get 20 students. And you can just charge them as little as 20,000 naira. And we just did a math and said 20,000 naira times 100 students. That is 2 million. Teachers begin to think of this. Nobody should be deceiving you and say teachers reward ends. Um, teacher get their reward, they get their reward in heaven and they'll be using you. I hate users. So use your skills wisely. Don't be going to homes and be collecting 20, 20,000 naira when you can use the same skill and get 2 million naira. In Anukwa. So tutorials, teaching, I've just told you how you can, um, leverage as a teacher, you can leverage on your skills to get a Zoom and teach children. Uh, my, my daughter's teacher was actually doing this during the lockdown. She have a Zoom and she was taking student and she has been so fantastic and amazing. And I think I'm going to discuss with her if she is ready to go this line. I don't mind sharing her flyers on my, on my Facebook page. Teachers should begin to get reward for all the things. You see some teachers that they are extremely good. They are so fantastic and yet they are paid peanuts. Forgetting that without those teachers, most of us would be nothing here. This, my ability to even communicate with you, even though I like using broken a lot, I wouldn't have been able to even talk to you. So let's begin to exploit this, okay? Apart from using um, your skill as a teacher, for those of you that have the gift of training, you can monetize it. Do you know how to bake? Start, um, start teaching online. I don't believe in this traditional way of having a class, you have three people, you are looking for space. I can't even tell you to start going to rent something because the business, what we are discussing here is how to start a business with 10,000 error. Get a student, teach them how to bake from your kitchen and go live, make it virtual. Get all your things and Teach them from the scratch how to make puff puff, how to make small chops, how to make samosa, how to make spring rolls, how to make so many things, and charge a fee. You will pay nothing less than seven thousand, eight thousand naira for your monthly um, subscription for Zoom, but you'll be able to take like hundred people. So even if you are charging twenty thousand, we are talking about millions here. These are some of the opportunities that we are not seeing. Stop chasing government work. Stop, stop waiting for that, your uncle, that will never look at you. Somebody once said that if you want to run, you are asking for a shoe. Nobody will give you a shoe. But when you, once you start running and you are not looking back, then people will start begging you and say, oh boy, make will give you this shoe, make you run. Wait, wait. Run. Leave them alone. Run. At the end, you are your savior. You have to save yourself. I'm waiting for that uncle that has so many jobless people in his village. That 50 years time has not finished, even if he line it up and say every month I'll be giving people, he has not finished. You are waiting for them. You have, we have opportunity here. I'm talking about people that don't like trading, that have 
the gift of training they have the gift of teaching grace or go girl okay so make let me use opportunity to shine to shine spot on my badoski there is somebody here watching me her name is grace so you may want to check her up after this video because coincidentally i'm talking about teaching and she just came in this lady has been able to use her skill of training to train women how to lose weight she is a living testimony. She's not just teaching people. She's not just teaching people what she learned from the internet. No, she passed through the process. I'm talking passionately about her because I knew her when she was that big. It's not somebody I met on the road. It's somebody that I, I knew right from when we were babies. Before we even went to secondary school, before we went to university. So like she's my yard person. She's my village person. She was so big and she fought till she got the answer of how to actually trim yourself down. And because she had gotten this, she started teaching women, see, these are so simple things that you can do to actually keep you fit. You don't need to like drink genge or do genge exercise. With these little things, you can actually look very good. And she started teaching and she's making money. That is what I'm telling you about starting a tutorial or starting trainings on skills that God has deposited in you. Please don't forget to check grace. If you know you're a woman and you are battling with weight, this girl has been able to do justice. If you if you check her out and you cannot get value, come and meet me. I'm saying I'm saying this authoritatively because I am I've seen where it works. So we talked about training and teaching. Then the next one on our list, we are talking about um in, uh improve seedlings like um, pro, um supplying of improved seedlings i like by giving a story why did i put this on the list it was not even on my list where I, when i was uh, my list i used to teach people before but it i have seen it work in real time okay i have seen it work in real time there was a girl called esther she was in oyo so she 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 came across my video on youtube for those of you that have not checked my video please don't forget to check it will help you okay i'm not doing it for money i just want to i i, I just want to see people utilize all this anyone that it that fit into your skin please go for it nobody will help you she watched my video and she reached out to me and she was like, um, and that she wants to do something, do something, that she's thinking of what to do. She doesn't even know what to do again, that she graduated and um, the small money that she saved from her Lawi, she'll go to Jaws, she'll look for work, they'll say come to interview in Lagos, she'll borrow, she'll go to Lagos for interview, the something will look as if the something wants to click, it will not click, the next day they'll say go to Port Harcourt, that she is so tired. And... As usual, what I usually advise person when you come to me, people, what, once you come to me, what I do is I try to ask you, what is it that you have? What are the people around you? What is the skill that God has given to only you? You alone and nobody have that. For example, if you have some particular people around you that I know that this will work for you, I will say do this. If you have some particular skills that differentiate you from others, I'll say, why not try this? And then I asked her, uh, the kind of people around her, she said, ah, she know they mingle with people, she, she's just a one loan, uh, loner person and the rest. I said, okay, let's leave that one alone. What about, what's, um, what are the things around you that we can see, like we can use? Is there anything that is um peculiar ar ar around you that we can use she said yes that she says in uh, oyo that she stays in one village that all of them most of them like farming there but the only problem is they hardly get seedling and she, they go to far away place to get it i said wonderful can you start supplying seedlings there are some kind of seed that you just need only one and you can produce multiple i don't know if somebody is getting me 
There are some seeds, for those of you that read um, agriculture and the rest, you know the name you call it, that is micro, I beg, make not break my head, me in a business. But I know that there are some seed or there are some crop that you can dissect to get plenty. And I asked her, she said, what is common in that their area that people are looking for is plantain stalker, stalk, stalker, stalkers, plantain stalkers. Okay, that is plantain stalkers that is common in that her side. And I said, okay, I don't know much about agri, like all this dissecting and the rest. But I know that you can get 64 stalkers of plantain from just one plantain stalk. She said, eh. Hey. I said, yes. Go to YouTube, watch it. I have watched the video. In fact, the name of the video, I think, is um, how to make, how to make, 64 stalkers from a single plantain. If you google it, you will see it. It was not difficult. I wanted to practicalize it, but at some point I stopped. You will cut the plantain and there is a way you put it and the whole 64 will start germinating. And funny enough, the lady tried it. The first one, she didn't get up to 64. She was able to get 18. She said, mama, this thing is working. Oh. I said, go girl. She tried another one again. She was able to get, uh, I think she said 31. Before you know, that was how she was able to get 64 from one plantain stock. And I said, very good. Let's look for an improved plantain so that you can begin to get 64. When you get one, you get 64. You get another one, you get 64. So with just 10 plantain, 10 times 64, you know how many stock you have gotten? Probably you bought the stocker for 300 naira times 10. That is maybe 3,000 naira. And you have gotten 64 stocker times, times 10. That's money. So let's exploit that one. Do you know, jokingly, this girl started doing this thing. And before you know, there is no place in that her village in Oyo that you want to get plantain stock that she's not the, the, the go-to place. Because what we did is, I was able to get a woman in this uh, Abuja near this life can bus stop. Because the woman usually bring plantain from Kotonu. The woman just got her just few plantain. This lady has has multiplied it. And the good thing is, as she's multiplying it, those ones that she have already done since, those ones are even growing and she's multiplying from that side. So she doesn't need to get from another place. So she keeps multiplying from her farm, multiplying from her farm, multiplying and selling to her people. As I'm talking to you now, monthly, I cannot tell you that this girl is making 500,000. I think I should be calling million. I don't want to exaggerate and I don't want to call her name here for security reasons. This girl is making money. Like she's my mentee. She is making, she's making real good money. So begin to look at your, your side. If there are some seedlings that you need to supply the improved version, you can supply seedlings. These are some of the things people are not looking at. And it will not cost you too much. So you can supply just, but I would prefer you look at most of the seedlings that you can use one to multiply a lot. So that you can supply improved version of that seedling and make more money. So the next on our list is selling of fertilizer and compost. I think this is similar to the point I just raised for the improved um, seedling. It has to do with those in the agro sector too. Selling of fertilizer, there is a whole lot of money from getting fertilizer from people that are fertilizer dealers. You can approach them and say, I want to supply your fertilizer. Once I supply, I'll pay you the money. But you first need to build relationship with them. So you supply fertilizer and make money and keep the money and pay the rest. And again, apart from the fertilizer, you can do compost. Especially after the COVID, everybody is going organic. Most people are trying to avoid... Um, chemicals. So most people are going organic, organic, organic. You can make compost if you know how, if you are um, into agro. Those that know how to make compost, you use how many percentage of food, you know that you use how many percentage of soil, you use how many percentage of dead um, leaves and everything and make compost. There are a lot of people looking for organic compost in Nigeria because these are not things that we do all the time. But because people have people are becoming more aware and 
people are becoming uh, more aware and they want to use more of the organic stuff. People want to use organic fertilizer for their produce. So you can be you can look into this and start doing compost from even the leftover from your kitchen. And probably look for the first organic farmer that is close to you and say, Hey, I'm so good at making very um high quality compost. Can I start supplying you? And you can start from there. Okay, so these are some of the things you can start with just 10k. Then the next on our list is uh perishable agro processing. How do I describe this? Perishable agro processing. Let me tell you the terrain of Nigeria. We still depend largely on rain fed agriculture, right? We are not there yet. We'll soon be there, but we are not there yet. Uh, if you go to advanced world, Western countries, you see that they do irrigation farming, okay? But in Nigeria, what we do is rain-fed agriculture, whereby once it's ending of March like this and rain starts falling, begem, you see all the farmers will just fly. I don't even say na jump. They'll just fly into the farm. And all of them start farming simultaneously. They start farming the same time. Do you know what that means? If you know what that means, please leave your comment on the comment section. Where all the old farmers in Nigeria goes to the farm and start farming. Please, well, what, what will be the result of that? It means only one thing. That all of them will be harvesting the same time, right? Yeah. They will all going to, they are all, all of them will be harvesting. They are all going to be harvesting the same time. That is why towards the ending of the year, you see that you have almost all Nigerian food in excess. You have plenty corn, you have plenty beans, you have plenty tomato, you have plenty gari, you have plenty onions, you have plenty shombo, you have plenty atarudo, you have plenty everything, surplus, Debbie. Yeah, surplus. And now, because of the poor storage facility we have in this country, most of them go into waste they go bad okay this is where you come in you can begin to buy those products during that surplus time and get somebody to process it for you how do i explain this you look for a processor in your states for those of you in abuja um, you can, I don't really like using Facebook message because we have, we have so many people that they just, they just take advantage of it. They call you, send you all manner of pornographic videos. So I usually stay away from Facebook message. But I would, I would have loved those in Abuja to reach out to me. I could connect you with some of the processors where during when you have surplus time, you can buy onions. You can buy tomato, you can buy a basket of tomato that time for 6,000 naira. She will help you process it into tomato powder. Have you seen tomato powder before? Yeah. Tomato powder, and it's really, really, really nice. So what you just need to do is to get some people that you will be supplying. Probably maybe Sahar store, or Nest Cash and Carry, or anywhere. Agree with them that you'll be producing um, this tomato powder for them, onions powder, garlic powder, atarodo powder, um, shombo powder, and the uh, tatase powder. You agree with them that you'll be providing, you'll be um, supplying them these things. Then we discuss with this lady, one of the lady, her name is Binkaf. Her name is Binkaf, okay? You discuss with this lady, she helps you process it with her processing firm. She can even help you so that you can get your NAVDAC number. Then you'll be supplying all those stuff. So you don't buy anything. You buy at the time where the product is excess. The product is surplus. So tomato is selling for 3000 You buy tomato, plenty of tomato, and you process it into powder. And the shelf life, it can stay for one year. So you have excess onions. You buy the surplus of onions. And you process it and turn it into onions powder, especially for all those our mommies 
that are doing a whole lot. They are managing the home front and they are working. Some of them need all those fasting to be able to cook. Imagine you as a mother that you don't have time to come and be cutting onions and you have onions in the powder. You have tomato in the powder, you have pepper in the powder, you have tatasi in the powder, and it retains almost more than 80% of the nutrients. Why won't you just pour it and do quack 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 and, and just do quack quack and do food and go? Okay? So you could lay us with those stores. Once the, the first point of call is to approach those stores and say, this is what you'll be offering. Once they agree, then you look for a processing center that will be helping you to process and you can use there to get your NAVDAC. See, anytime you are stabilized, that is when you start thinking of how to get your own stuff. And you grow from there before you know you to become an industry. Okay, so processing of agro-perishable products. For those of you in Abuja, find a way. Ah, okay, probably leave comments. Yes, yeah, leave comments on this video. I can reach out to you. I don't use Facebook message. It's not looking as if I'm ignoring you. I know what I'm saying. I've seen too many things that this my small eyes is not supposed to see. So leave a message on this comment. I could link you to Binka with a token. She can, help, she can help you so that you can use her facility. You can process some of this, your onions, your garlic, your tomatoes, and you on your own. You start looking for where to supply. Okay? So the next on our list is uh, mini processing. The mini processing wants to look like this... Um, uh, processing and perishable products, but it's kind of a little bit different. Mini processing means how do you become a manufacturer? How do you become a processor? Starting from your home, starting from the very, very basic, starting from the very little, little things that people use. And from the beginning of this video, I showed you um, some of the things that women have been doing. Okay, I showed you some of the things. Um, Jewel, you just came online. Sorry, we are almost running up, but the video will be up there so you can see it. Okay, hope that is okay. So, um, for the mini processing, before we started, I showed you some of the things that women have been doing. I say women, women they vest like women they vest. See my dog, they look me. <laughs> women they vest die. Okay, these are some of the products for women from their houses my light is getting darker i don't know if i should on the light uh this is too much this is too much okay let me see this is oh my god okay let me just continue i don't the light will interfere with my video i showed you some of the things that women have been doing this is can you see it this is coconut oil. Coconut oil. And most of these things are on YouTube. In fact, let me give you a place where you can get most of all these things. For. Check, check Flo. Flo has done a lot for women. She has taken her time to pull video on how to do, press, um, do coconut oil, both the cold press and the ones that are not cold press. Okay? So you can learn how to do coconut oil for um, slow. It is very simple. These are things you can do from your kitchen. You just buy coconut, go market. If you take Kaduna, go Monday market, or go Sabo market, or go um, uh, Chechenia market. If you are in Abuja, go Karimu market, you buy it cheap there, or go to Orange market. If you are in Lagos, go to My Tribe. Coconuts are very cheap there. Get the coconut. Crush that thing, girl. I make coconut oil. If you don't know how to sell it, inbox me. If I me on my own, self, the one I go buy, no be here because you see my skin. I don't use anything other than coconut oil and lemon. I mean, if I can get so much from things that I know, if I put it in my skin, it's more like me eating fruit. Why will I go and be rubbing chemicals on my body and wasting so much money? Okay. I can't tell you the quantity of coconut oil I use always from, from me and my children. If you don't know how to market it, meet me. I will show you. In fact, only me and my friends, I will help you sell it. So if you, if you have been this type that I've been thinking for what to do for years, you don't know how to do, carry coconut oil, enter your kitchen, carry your YouTube, check flow, type how 
to make code if you want me to sell for you or want me to buy from you don't do any coconut oil apart from cold press check flow cold press coconut oil and just buy coconut oil of, of just ordinary 5000 naira and begin to process that is what i call mini processing this is coconut oil see what women have been able to do this is moringa tea okay this is moringa tea a moringa powder it's in tea bag these are things that women are doing you start very small from your kitchen from your kitchen this is another person's own this is this is jam product i don't know is it clear this is jam product this is um, let me bend it jam this is coconut oil with lemon um, did i put it away okay let me see this is coconut oil with lemon see how she packed it so nicely she started gradually and now see this is the cover see and this is it this is it on my skin it's better than any oil you can ever imagine in your life see just imagine see how my skin glow just look at look at look at can you see see my skin shining as if there is a light beneath it this is all what i use and they are from women's kitchen your kitchen you don't need any equipment you don't need any equipment all you just need to do is go to youtube and learn it and some of this thing it will take you nothing less than 10 minutes to produce it for example for the coconut oil how do you convert it into lemon oil you just grate the back of the lemon put it inside the coconut oil put it inside uh put the coconut oil put water inside pot and put the, the coconut oil and lemon inside the bowl and inside it but again that is all very easy so you can begin to do some of those things and like i said go to flow youtube channel the lady has been able to put this information free of charge. She took her time to help people. Go there to learn on how to do cold pressed coconut oil, how to do lemon oil, how to do carrot oil. And funny enough, this coconut oil and the carrot oil actually bleaches. Anytime I want to bleach naturally, I use coconut oil or carrot oil. As you can see, if you see me, this is not my real color. I'm darker than this. But because of the event, I wanted to go this week. I said, man, me too. I want to slay. I want to like yellow. And the good thing about the um, bleaching with this natural, this is not this kind of bleaching that you say it will burn your body, it will give you nothing. There is no chemical anywhere. So there is no such thing as chemical or bleaching. It will just brighten you up. So you can begin to process. You can begin to uh, do mini processing. This is habicus, habicus flower from another person. This is habicus, habiscus. Oh my god, this video. Okay, this is habicus, habiscus flower. Can you see it? This lady has been able to turn habiscus flower into tea, just like lip tea. For those of you that don't know what is habiscus flower, this is zobo, zoborodo. <laughs> that one I put inside water, it becomes so red. How did she start? She started gradually. Okay? She started gradually. So, jump in there, in your kitchen. Start processing coconut oil. Start processing carrot oil. Start processing um, lemon and coconut, and lemon oil. You can do um, tomato powder. You can do pepper powder. You can do tatase powder. You can even do chicken powder. That's the rainy one now. Chicken and egg powder. It is very good and highly nutritious for children. So be innovative. Be creative. Do this and go to stores and approach them. Stores are already tired. Seeing all those dissenting semo, moi uh, moi semo, plantain, all those. They are so tired already. And that reminds me, you can even do plantain flour. All you just need to do is just to get somebody that already have a processing center 
and liaise with that person and be processing from there. You can even get your NAFDA from there. It's even easier to get NAFDA. For those of you in Abuja, you can leave comments on how to do this. I will link you to some of my friends. For Kaduna, I can't tell, but you can look for. Because even when you ask, you will see. Okay? So these are some of the products. When I talk about um, mini processing, this is shea butter from another lady. I don't know if this is. This is shea butter. Yellow shea. Where is the name? This is Kabusa yellow shea butter. It's not. Okay. Kabusa yellow shea butter. Okay? So these are some of the produce from women. You can start small. Please. Don't wait till you become dangote to start. They say a journey of a thousand miles starts small. Start from a day. Okay? So you can start small. So I have given you the 10 small businesses you can do. And all of them I made sure that there are things that you can start with 10,000 error. So are you just a graduate from NYC? That you just collected your alawi and you are back to Nigeria and you are thinking, you are back to this our unemployed situation and you are thinking of what to do. Start with that 10,000 naira. Please don't wait for any uncle. Don't wait for any job. Start with that 10,000 naira. When the job comes, glory be to God. Are you a woman that is doing so much? You try to take care of the home front, to take care of the children. You try every morning, you do school runs every day. You crack your head on how to cook 365 days in a year. And yes, somebody is telling you, um, we don't know what thing you did do. My sister, nobody will know what you did do, but you are doing a whole lot. You are doing a whole lot. That should not stop you from making money. Convert your kitchen into a processing center, into a manufacturing zoom, into a processing hub. As you are doing all this thing with love for your children, keep doing it to make money. You, for example, you can do coconut um, lemon oil for your children because it makes children's skin so nice. It makes your child's skin so nice and much more. You are not spending money on cream. You can pocket that money. As you are making it for your children, send to me. Say, Debbie, please, can you help me sell? Send to other ladies. People, in fact, you don't even need to advertise it. People will see your skin and they will ask you, what do you use? You become your own ambassador. Put it on, um, put it on your WhatsApp status and people will run after you. So basically, these are the 10 businesses you can do with 10,000 Naira in Nigeria. And just as a bonus tips... Um, I want to give all the lawyers in the house. This is not among the 10 businesses, but I want to give all the lawyers in the house some bonus tips. You have been doing CAC registration. You have been doing company cooperative registration and lots more. Please, I would like you to look at NAVDAC registration. NAVDAC is headache for small processors, okay? And usually, what is business? A business is your ability to solve a problem. Once there is a problem and you are able to solve it, you have created mo uh, money, money back for yourself. In Lagos, for example, people do not that for people and charge over 600,000, 500,000. Those of you in Abuja and Port Harcourt, and you are a lawyer, can you crack the nuts on how to do not that for businesses and even charge small, probably maybe 400 Naira? And you will see the kind of people that will be gushing into your um, DM to tell you to do NAVDA from them, for them. So I will just take five minute break for you to send all your question and I will answer them. So please type all your question because I don't answer my yeah I don't answer my YouTube messages and after now most of my courses are paid courses. So for now I'm with you. We die here today. So send all your questions so that I can take it one after the other. So I'll just take a quick break and. Um, I'll take all your questions. So please quickly type your questions. Hi. Ah, wow. Plenty of comment, 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 comment. So what do we have? Uh, uh, Adia. Mo, 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 lo, mo, lola. Did I pronounce your name? Yeah? Mo, lola. Okay. 
You say you make carrot oil for your boys. Awesome, ma'am. Awesome. That is just um, you saying you are giving your children carrot every day to eat, okay? Because everything we take with our skin, like everything we rub on our skin, goes straight into our body, okay? So that is awesome, okay? And the next person say, wow, this is great. Exportation and cold pressed coconut oil. I'm in. I will reach out to you, ma'am, on marketing. Okay, that's awesome. Namesake, Debbie. Is all right. I'll be looking forward. To, so just try to leave your comment because, like I say, I hardly, I hardly go to um, Facebook message. It's not because of pride or anything. I try to keep away. I don't like some of the message I get from some of some people. I don't like it, especially all those pornog pornographic message. Some of some things are unseen. I don't like it. So the comment is fine since it is public. Okay. Can you please just list it again, Melinda? No problem. I will list it on the uh, on the comment section, Melinda. That's fine. I will do that. Okay. Uh, everything is on YouTube. Yes, Mobola, you are right. Everything is on YouTube. Um, Rita, very impressive. Women are so creative. God bless every woman. God really blessed every woman. We are great. Coconut oil is very good. I'm not saying any question. I'm giving you all the chance to ask all the questions you want. Now, Salama to Hi, Debbie. God bless you for this session. I came late, so I don't get your... I didn't get your lesson on importation. I didn't get your lesson on importation. How do I get access to agent and seller and product to start a mini importation business? Okay, Sally, that one is a full course on... um. How to import on China? Usually we charge a token because we bring um, we bring um, the shipper, the agent to come and talk to you, and we we try to um, uh, we try to um, open up on the site you can go to buy things extremely cheap. Alibaba, like I said, is not the cheapest. This site, Alibaba, to go there to to shop, and it's one six eight eight. That's the 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 site. Things are written in China, so we teach you how to know the tips and the real people, okay? And we teach you how to search. You can't just type English and you get what you want. We teach you how to search on that site. On that site, we teach you how to convert the site to English. We give you contact of agent. We give you contact of shipper. We do a two days training, and the third day we do practical. After which. We put um, all our mentees into um, a Telegram um, app so that we can monitor your progress and we can have more success story. Because to us, it's not the little money we collect, but it's the success story. Okay? So if you want that, if you want to join the next, for those of you that want to join the next um, importation course, please leave your comments, okay, so that I can share the flyer with you. Like I said, it's usually every first week of the month, okay? Yeah, so um, the next question is, I uh, hope I can start the coconut oil business without all of the NAVDAQ wahala. Um, Debbie, yeah, you can start um, importation, oh, sorry, Debbie, you can start the coconut oil right from your kitchen without even a business name. When you start thinking of NAVDAQ wahala is when you want to start putting it in store. NAVDAQ wants to be sure of the authenticity so you can start right here like this night gang gang in your kitchen you don't need to even bother about now that what you need to do is first rub it on your skin share send it with your friends send to me okay I, I can even help you to even put it in my channel just um like this one i put here i've gotten close to 20 messages telling me they want it all i just need to do is just to send the woman's contact to them and my job is done I'm not even asking for any commission. It's just to link somebody to another person and my job is done. Okay, so Debbie, you can start the coconut oil. I will be your first number one customer because like I consume coconut oil like the way I consume water for my children, my whole family and myself. Okay, so you can start the coconut oil. Sometimes you say too much that you don't even need to worry about store because you, what you'll be producing may not just be enough. Okay, so you can start it right here and now. So, um, which of the questions, how can I join the Telegram group? And tell no, the Telegram group is usually for the paid um, version of the um, importation business. I told you, like I said, that we do importation business on a token. 
just a very small money because you use that money to invite the shippers and the agent and we do all we are supposed to do in the importation business these are these all the necessary arrangement we need to make after we have finished it's a three days program we teach you we expose everything for the first two days then the third day is a practical section because some of those things are better practicalized than just telling you on the phone okay so we practicalize it for people that already want to put up a place order we make sure that they buy that day then we put after which we now put you on the telegram group like like our mentees just so that we monitor your progress and we can have more success stories so it's not just about doing a three days course and you come and pay and we are good we are not interested in that money we are interested rather in your success story that at some point Tenno attended this program she was in this mentee group and at the end she was able to uh, import xyz and right now this is the amount Tenno is making that is the story we are more in we are more interested in than the lecture okay so if you are interested in that uh, mini importation leave your comment just tell me you're in, interested in the paid mini importation well, i'll definitely forward um the um, teller on your inbox when the teller is out okay tell me hope i've done justice to your question then um the next question is um phil i am in for importation course okay phil um i will take note of that i'll just tell um the person that is sending the flyers to send you the flyer it's a good decision you have made phil and um good evening please i need info on importation um augustina i just we just um finish our course this evening and for those that want detailed info and including the practical contact the main thing in that course is the contact because you can't just put contacts online okay and you bring the shippers to come and talk to you one-on-one -on -one. you bring the um, agent to speak to you one-on-one -on -one. that's where you know who you are dealing with is a complete whole package okay the uh, the paid version comes in every first week of every month after which we put you on the telegram to monitor your progress so if you are interested in the paid version of the importation please leave your comment and i will ensure that the lady that is sending the flyers um gets to you okay so sally you say secondly i've always seen myself as a non-business person and i really want to go into it how do i who has zero idea about running a biz start a sustainable one with ease hmm. sally this your question is a banner this is another topic on its own, and I have to, in fact, it's a good one. Sincerely, it's a good one. I have to um, put up a video for this. Probably, I will do another live section, like starting um, a, biz uh, a business from zero level to, I just need to carve it up, but I understand what you, you mean. For somebody that has zero knowledge of business, and somebody that don't know jack about business, how do you start running a business and sustaining one with ease and even at that not just sustaining one with ease even when you start making so you start making success how do you manage the success because these are some of the things that small business don't consider sometimes you even it's not just making business so women start business and they become highly successful but yet they can't manage the success so Sally thank you so much for pointing this out I will do a free life section on this since i don't need to bring anybody in it's just my knowledge i would be happy to do this free 100 percent okay sally okay so the next question is um interested in the importation cost tell me okay that's awesome that's a good um decision you have made okay so we'll send the flyer to you then uh i'm in for the importation cost that is Augustina. Okay, Augustina, I'll reach out to you. Um, Tano, how much is the class, ma? Uh, I will need to check check with uh, the guy that is helping me out in um, getting the shipper. But the last, the, all the ones we have been doing has never been more than 5,000 euros. But I'm sure when they are getting 
back to you they'll get back to it all the feedback because usually this money is used to uh, uh, to buy the zoom uh, to pay for the paid zoom to get the shipper to get the agent because like you know to get a zoom that will take almost 50 hundred people is not free okay so um we'll get back to you on that ten, uh, tenno tenno did i pronounce your name where tenno yeah i have to i just have to learn that name because you have always been um you have always been on my page so that name i have to pronounce it where by fire by force so salma again as a new business owner is it advisable to be involved in many business at once to focus on one at a time until where until when you are fully baked business person because i have multiple business ideas but i fear to begin Sal salma as a new business owner, I will not advise you to do that because you are just testing your leg in the water just so that when you are drawn, you are not fully swept away. Okay, so start with one, focus, and make sure you are able to grow that. Then you can expand on the other one. Or second, come and collaborate with me. Let's share business ideas to so many unemployed Nigerians that are out there. Like my biggest, I don't want to say my biggest problem, like what is wrong with this my head is i'm always having so many business ideas that i know just one person cannot do it so what i normally do is i give it to people and watch how they practicalize it and once it becomes a success i use it to teach people so that way i know that i'm i'm adding to humanity okay so sometimes god give you business it's not just for only you so you can't you can't you can't be master of master of all and jack of none okay just get some few one that you are extremely good at start with one make sure that you are able to start stand on your feet and get other ones because i won't even advise you to do only one because to get multiple streams of income is key but don't 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 um commit to too many business you can use sometimes god give us something not just for only us but for the benefit of humanity so you can use it to teach people you can come let's do collab you can teach but before you do collab, make sure that it's something that you have tested and it actually works. Okay? When you want to test, you give maybe a friend and you monitor the progress. And once this thing is work, authoritatively, you have tested it one, two, three times. You cannot come out and say, ah, those of you that are looking for what to do, please, I have an idea. Why not test this and test this? Does it make sense, Sally? So you can look into it and you know where to reach me now. You know you, you are my yard person. <laughs> okay. So, um... Tenno, I'm interested, although I started already with your previous lecture, I am still interested in the paid class. Okay, Tenno, most of the lecture I gave you, they are the basis of importation. But you can't get, what you get in the, in the paid class is much, much more heavier than uh, what you get online from my YouTube. Because what I give you on my YouTube is just basically, basically what I know. Okay, but for the paid class, well, for all the things that the shipper will be bringing in, I can't give you that, okay? Even the shipper's contact, one-on-one, -on -one, him giving you the contact. The agent, what she will be giving you, I can't teach you that, okay? Then even the mentoring section, you can't get it in the free um, class. And the details, in fact, it's all about the details. And the most important thing is the contact and making sure that you start from the beginning of the importation and the ending that you have already imported product not just listening to what's um to uh, my lecture and you can't connect the dots because some things are missing because some are coming from other people so this one is from like you taking taking you from an importation from a to z making sure that you have imported that so that when they leave you you too you can begin to even teach other people then did I did I was I able to answer your question? Okay, so that is for the paid um, class. Then um, Debbie, I'm also interested in the paid importation. Okay, Debbie, that's a good decision. I'm sure the lady that is sending the flyer is seeing all your requests. Salma, thank you, Salma. Please don't forget to get in touch. Let's help. Um, let's help to spread the uh, spread the message so that people can actually do things there are lots of things to be done in this country a whole lot of things most time people send me message from us please um debbie can you help we want to uh we want you to um send us a message we want you to send us um sesame message is ready those of you that don't know it really you don't call it ego go 
Okay, some will tell you send me hibiscus flower, which is zobo. Some will tell me, um, Debbie, please can you help us send shea butter? Debbie, can you send? I can't send everything. Like I'm only Debbie. Like me personally, the only thing I do is ginger and turmeric. You know why you cannot do any do all, all everything? Once you start doing this thing for industrial use, those machines they, they cost a whole lot of money. And we are in a country where nobody gives you money for business. You have to hustle everything for yourself. Okay, you have to hustle everything from the grinding machine. You can't use normal grinder. You have to use the 304 stainless to the dehydrator to the moisture tester. Everything you buy it on yourself. So once you want to do shea butter, another type of machine, you want to do sesame oil, another type of machine, you'll be jack of all trade, master of none for exportation because it's very expensive. You take something that is very close to you. That when you know when you close your eye, you can get it. For me, I choose ginger and turmeric because I was born and brought up in Kaduna. So ginger and turmeric is everywhere. It's not me taking cocoa. Anytime I say I should bring, I will run to Ogoja. I will run to uh, Kalaba. I will run. It's not sustainable. Okay? So that is why most time in my exportation business, after I have done the training, I put people into groups so that when you are producing, when people are sourcing for all these things, I, I send the people to you so that they can get, at least I can recommend you, knowing fully well that I know the person that, I'm, the person that I'm recommending, who I'm recommending to who. Does it make sense? Okay. So, um, Tenno, you said I pronounced your name well. Oh, praise God. <laughs> Antonia, importation. No. Okay, so, uh, Antonia, you want importation. Okay, I'll ask the lady to reach out to you. Then, um, I hope I've done justice to the question. Salama to, you say, I am in. Great, great, Sally. I know you have always been a selfless friend from day one. You like giving. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you. I want to, I want to collaborate to Tenu. Okay, that's awesome. You, Tenu, can you um, send me, can you... Send it, send to this chat what you want to collab on. When you say collab is so large, so that we can um, narrow it down to what we want to do. Yes, ma, you answer my question. I can't wait. Uh, Matthias, I'm in for paid importation. Matthias, that is a good decision. We'll reach out to you. So, when are you going to introduce the exportation cost? I'm interested. Though. Okay, Tenno, the exportation cost is coming out soon. Um, we are even forming um, a group, but that group, sorry, is strictly for women. It's called WOMIT, Women in Business, Women in Trade and Services, where we help the women. Um, we help the, only, the major thing that the group is like a Facebook. We, we connect the women all over the world. We have women from Singapore, women from Malaysia, women from the United States of America, women from China, women from... Uh, Abu Dhabi, women from Nigeria. The essence of that group is to connect women to the market, okay? So usually after the exportation business, we put the women into that group and the men that cannot go into the group because that group is gender sensitive. We just get the market and send to you, okay? So other business idea collabo. Okay, turn no, I can hear you loud and clear. I think I have done justice to all your questions. And um, thank you so much for this um, live section with me. I can see most of the people that started, they are still online. That means the course we did today was actually, actually um, a pressing need. Thank you so much. And um, don't forget to practicalize some of those things. You can start from your kitchen, please. Let's, let's do away with all those limiting um, ideas, waiting for somebody to come and help us. We have to rescue ourselves. Okay, yes, it's true, there is no job anywhere. Um, you keep sending applications, there is no job. But believe me, believe me, if you're able to give your time and your energy to any of those business that we mentioned, and you're able to do it well, there will come a time where you will get a job you don't want to do again. I'm telling you, this is, I'm telling you for a fact. Like, as it is now, you can't give me a job of 180,200 and you expect me to go and sit in the office. My sister, you know, go work. You know, go work. Person, you know, test talk, Boroko, you know, if you call Kadi, shower, they give and make you say the thing that they say. It will work. Okay, so once you have mastered this, there is a time they will give you a job. You, you can't accept it. 
So let's try and start somewhere. And um, we pray God will perfect the work of our hand. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited to see all of you since 2019. I think we've not seen 2020. I'm so excited to see you and knowing fully whether you guys are hale and hearty. So uh, we'll bring out um, the next courses that will be beneficial to all of us. And from me, if it's only me, I'm going to be doing the course free. But when it comes to where we'll be bringing other people that, because it's not everybody that know how to give free thing. I'm sorry, at that, um, at that point, I may not be able to help. But if it's a course that is from my brain, we rest assured that Debbie is going to do it 100%. And don't forget to check up our YouTube on... Um, Check up our YouTube video on the um, business rant. Um, on business, our YouTube video on business rant. You see a whole lot of things there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this um, video with us. My dog is actually disturbing me. Thank you so much for watching this video with us, and um, I look forward to seeing you in next.